Hello everyone. So in this video I am uh, just going to take a little time to talk to you about color and expressionism. We've talked about it a little bit previously. Color is used by expressionists to convey emotion. And then that can be done by how different colors signify emotion and as we've discussed previously colors like red can mean anger, yellow can mean uh, happiness or joy. Blue denotes uh, sadness or melancholy, which is the old-fashioned word for sadness. Expressionist artists do not co obviously constrict themselves to only using one color. They will use all of the colors. And so what they might do is put those different colors to signify different types of things. If you think about death in the sick room, the main color that you, was used to signify that the people were mourning was the color of their clothing. They were all wearing dark clothing or black clothing, which means that they are sad. But if you remember, and I pointed out to several classes, the back wall in that painting is painted green, and green is the color of sickness, illness. So artists will use more than just one color. So don't try to think about this as, I'm only going to use one color. You can use all of the colors. Now, in my drawing here that you see, I am um, trying to convey the emotion of surprise or terror, uh, which is mostly shown in my facial expression, and that frees me a little bit to use colors very expressively. So I'm trying to use very bright colors. If you think about a situation where you might be su surprised or terrified, that's a very um, noticeable event, obviously. Uh, it's not something that you just kind of are bored and take lightly. Uh, if you're terrified or scared, uh, it's, it's going to be an alarming experience. So I'm using very bright colors here to signify that, that alarmness or alarming experience. I'm not really trying to just use the color as one color means surprise or fear. One thing that I am doing with the color though is if, the, if you look at the scream, the scream, screamer's face is mostly yellow um, with a little bit of white ghostly grayish white colors and it also has a little bit of green in there and also it has some darker colors like purple. Purple and yellow are complementary colors. Now this is important. If you look at the color wheel, complementary colors are colors that are opposites on the color wheel. They oppose one another. And artists, especially express expressionists, will use this technique of putting complementary colors next to each other to make their paintings appear more vibrant. And I am definitely doing that here by using red outlines to complement the green colors. But what I'm doing here right now at this moment is I'm using a violet color pastel to outline the, the area of my face that has more yellow in it and yellow and purple are complementary colors. So I've actually got two pairs of complementary colors as well. Another thing that artists will use complementary colors for is to create a realistic looking shadow. So if you combine two complementary colors, you get a shadow color. So if I wanted to make a shadow on something that's yellow, I would use purple on top of that yellow to create its shadow color and vice versa. Same thing with green and red and orange and blue do the same thing. Orange and blue make some very, very strong shadow colors. Shadow colors are not necessarily black. They're reflected light as well. It's just the light is obfuscated by whatever object it is that is casting the shadow. So when you are choosing your colors, you want to try to choose some complementary color pairs. And that could be in the face or it could be in the background or it could be a combination of the two. Last thing that I want to talk about here is the background. The background you can just make a color. It doesn't have to be anything in the background. Um, I recommend that you uh, make your face sort of big on the paper like I've done in this drawing so that it's the emphasis, it's the main focus of the artwork. That's what emphasis means. It's the thing that is 
most focused on and then that way you can just co concentrate on your use of color and using those vibra vibrant colors trying to convey that emotion that you want. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope that uh, you guys have some success. Uh, use bright colors. Use, use really bold outlines. Do not use black and try not to use white. I used no black in this drawing and I used no white except for on my teeth and the whites of my eyes which are things that are supposed to be white in drawing. And I really could have been more creative there. If I wanted to, I could have made my teeth yellow. It would look rather uh, odd, but I could have done that. So don't use black. If you want to create a dark color, use two complementary color combinations. Okay, good luck.